Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you my top five physical media releases for 2020. So stay tuned. So 2020 was a good year for physical media releases. We got a lot of nice sets and some individual releases. So today I wanted to take time to show you my top five picks for 2020. So first up at number five is the Criterion release for Parasite. Um, I really enjoyed this movie, Parasite, and I already have the Blu-ray edition. I have a couple of Steelbook releases. I have the 4K release, and then the Criterion release, this one. So um, this right here will be my number five pick, Parasite. Okay, my number four pick would be the Columbia Classics 4K release. Now, as you can tell, these have not been opened up yet. Um, but as far as my favorites for the year, this right here would definitely be my number four pick because of all the content that is in this box set. Um, these are all great films. I really enjoy all of these. I've seen them all except for, um, I have not seen Gandhi yet. So um, anyways, this is my top number four for 2020. Okay, my number three release for 2020 is the 4K release for the Skywalker Saga. Now, I have seen all of these, of course, in 4K, uh, but I have not opened this set up. Um, I do have the individual releases, but as far as packaging and um, the way that this is presented, I really do like this set. So my number three pick is the Skywalker Saga in 4K. Okay, my number two pick, it is the 4K release for Dawn of the Dead. Uh, now this right here is a nice box set, which of course I haven't opened mine yet, um, but this right here was a big, um, big pickup for the year. And I have seen several unboxings of this. Of course I like to keep my things sealed. I've already got the movie, of course I haven't seen all the special features, but um, this right here would be my number two pick, Dawn of the Dead. And then lastly, my number one pick is the Friday the 13th collection set. So this right here is the nice box set that came out um, earlier and I was able to get this. I really do like the artwork on the box. Um, of course, I like to keep mine sealed up. I have all these movies in another um, format of media, so I always look at those. But um, I do have this still sealed up because I am um, kind of weird that way. I don't really want to open it up until it's time for me to watch these. But anyway, this is my number one pick. I was able to get this plus the lithographs that came out. So um, to me, I think this is probably the top release for 2020. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my selection for these top five. And also let me know which of these that you have in your collection. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. And if you'd like to check out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.